Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dr. Destroyer book and the Orgoman products. I am here today with Professor Louis Blois. He's a mathematician and he's going to go over some problems with us on statistics and the coronavirus. All right, Professor Blois, show us what you got. Okay, the subject of the day is coronavirus. Let's read the preamble to the problem. The following questions are based on the following statistics of the death rate by age group for those who have contracted the coronavirus. And here we have it by age group 20 to 29, 0.2%, age 30 to 39, 0.2%, age 40 to 49, 0.4%, etc. So this is not the percent of the death rate of the entire population, just those who have caught the coronavirus. Now let's look at the first question. Two people are randomly chosen who have contracted the coronavirus, one from the 30 to 39 age group and the other from the 40 to 49 age group. What is the probability that both will die from the coronavirus? Okay, well, the probability of A and B, events A and B, when A and B are independent events, and these are independent events, is the product of the probability. The Probability is probability of A times the probability of B. So the probability of dying is exactly the death rate. So from the 30 to 39 age group, it's going to be 0.2%. And from the 40 to 49 age group, it's going to be 0.4%. And now we multiply these two together. And now just a little advisory. Many students, when multiplying these two together, will say this. Okay, how do I multiply a decimal? It's two times four is eight, and I pick up two decimal points, and they would write 0.08%. And that is totally wrong. Why is it wrong? Because we're ignoring the percent part. Percent means number over 100. So what we have here is 0.2 over 100 times 0.4 over 100. Okay, now let's multiply across the numerators. 0.2 times 0.4 is that 0.08, and 100 times 100 is 10,000. Now to express that as a percent, we want to express it as a number out of 100. So I'm going to move the decimal place two places to the left in the numerator and two places to the left in the denominator. So I will get 0.0008 over a hundred and that will that's a number out of a hundred and therefore it translates into a percent 0 0.0008 percent and that's the answer to our first part of the problem second part of the problem what is the probability that either one of those two people chosen will die from the infection not both but either one so we want this probability of a or b Okay, and it's standard in probability class. You'll see it in the textbooks where you have probability of A and B for independent events. It's the product of the probability. Product of A or B is the sum of the probabilities. So this is going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B. Now, there's one little addition we have to make to this formula because these events are not mutually exclusive. By adding these two probabilities up, we're adding the probability of the uh, the, the simultaneous contraction twice, we have to subtract the probability of A and B. Okay, so, and this is a standard formula for events that are not mutually uh, exclusive. So let's see, the probability of A is 0.2%, the probability of B is 0.4%, and the probability of A and B, we've already figured that out from part A, is 0.0008%. So this is going to be what? What's 0.2% times 0.4%? is 0.6% minus 0.0008% and that's going to give us 0.5992% and there's our solution to the second part. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was an excellent problem. Oh, thank you. Um, on Friday, I did ask Professor Blois if he can come up with a problem involving the coronavirus. And you came through for us. That was absolutely excellent. Okay. All right, guys. I'll see you in study group. Good day to you. Bye-bye.